Hello, grade nine math class. Welcome back to another lecture. We have lesson one of a brand new unit. Uh, this one is called advanced exponent laws. We're gonna be combining some of these laws and we're going to be talking about um, when we have variables as bases later on. And hopefully uh, we'll become very, very familiar with all of these. Why don't we just hop right in? Um, this one is raising products to a power. Essentially we're going to be uh, multiplying numbers out of the same base, but also they have exponents involved as well. All right, let's go. We have first four to the power of four, and then that is all to the power of three multiplied by four to the power of two. We need, there we go. We need to get this into something simple that we can multiply by uh, this part so that we just have to add the exponents. I know that if I do an exponent of an exponent, I'm multiplying them together. So this is the same as four to the power of 12 multiplied by four to the power of two, right? Three times four is 12. And then I just have the same thing with four to the power of two. And then since they're multiplied together, I just add their exponents and that's four to the power of 14. Okay. So we're going to do the exponents on one side, and we're going to then uh, combine them later. If you have brackets around the whole thing, that's a completely different story, and we can talk about that when we come to it in like a question or two. Uh, let's do the next one over number eight. We have three to the power of three multiplied by three to the power of four, all to the power of four. So uh, let's get rid of the brackets on this side so we can, or the exponents of the exponent on this side so we can actually work with it. Four times four is 16. So this is the same as three to the power of three times three to the power of 16. They're multiplied together. So we then add the exponents. We get three to the power of 19. And don't worry about finding out what that actually is. Uh, we are just simplifying as much as we can right now. Let's go to the next one. We have three to the power of four, all to the power of two, multiplied by three to the power of two. Same thing, we're gonna get rid of the exponent of the exponent on this side, so then we can add the exponents next. Four times two is eight. So three to the power of eight, multiplied by three to the power of two. We add those together, and that's three to the power of 10 for our answer. All right, this next one's a little bit more complicated, so let's write it out. We've got two times two to the power of two to the power of three, and then the whole thing to the power of two after that. So we are going to work from the inside out. We are going to do what's in the brackets, what's in the brackets first, right? In the brackets, and then the exponent of this bracket. So we're going to get rid of this so we can deal with this. 2 times 3 is 6, so this is 2 times 2 to the power of 6, all to the power of 2. Then we're going to add these exponents. This is like 2 to the power of 1, so this is 2 to the power of 7 to the power of 2. And since we have an exponent of exponent, we multiply those together. We end up with 2 to the power of 14, 7 times 2 is 14. So we are working from the inside of the brackets out. I'm going to do a few more. I think I'm actually going to, I'm doing this on the fly here. I'm going to do extra questions. No, I'm not. Forget those. Forget you ever saw that. All right, let's do a couple more questions. This is all gonna come with practice, and if you have problems at all, ask me to do a whole bunch on the board, ask a friend to do a whole bunch on the board. That is the key. All right, we've got two to the power of two multiplied by two to the power of two. This is a friendly, familiar one. We don't have anything to do except add those exponents. Two to the power of four. Okay, that's great. And then we have our next one. We got two brackets, three squared, all to the power of four, multiplied by three to the power of two, in the last bracket, all squared. We're gonna work from our inside out again. So what we can do is we can get rid of this little set of brackets. 
2 times 4 is 8. So we have 3 to the power of 8 multiplied by 3 to the power of 2. That's this one here, all squared. We now want to add those exponents so we can then get rid of this other one after. So that's 8 plus 2 is 10. And then we multiply exponents of exponents. And that's 3 to the power of 20. Again, you don't have to worry about what exactly that is, but we are just simplifying as much as we can using our exponents. If you have questions, please let me know. Please let a friend know. Uh, but thanks so much for watching, everyone. I'll see you soon.